Okay, so what's up guys, I'm Pixel Sammy and welcome to this newest video. So in this particular video, we're going to give a small introduction or a review kind of a video for the new M1 MacBook Pro. Now, just to be clear, this is just going to be a video for testing the S7S 3 4K 10-bit 60fps footage video. A detailed video on the workflow on this particular new laptop is going to come next week, which I'm collaborating with Technolobe. If you guys don't know him, do make sure to subscribe to his channel. So this is only going to be the video for how Sony 10-bit 4K videos in 60fps plays back and edits in Final Cut Pro X. Let's go. So one thing you guys should know is that I'm not going to do any kind of benchmarks that Cinebench like OpenCL etc. All those kind of benchmarks. There are tons of those on the internet. So I don't think there is any necessity to go to the theoretical details of benchmarks which you all already know. Rather I'm going to make more practical reviews, more practical tests of how this laptop performs in terms of thermal throttling, in terms of performance, in terms of regular playback, regular edits on high quality modes with higher 4k kind of a clips and how it performs if it lags or not if it edits properly if the workflow is smooth or not if the export times are good or not those are the kind of videos which i'm going to do with this particular laptop no theoretical details such as cinebench benchmark blended test etc more practical kind of a reviews because you guys will already know those test results from the internet there are tons of those already there so one very important thing is that when you're playing back 4k 10 bits s7 s3 footages this laptop is extremely smooth and buttered especially in final cut pro it's now i'm going to make a preemptive video next week so stay tuned for that but if you guys want to know what the premier pro performance is like it is not good at this moment so if you are a premier user and if you guys want to buy this particular laptop it's a straight no no from my side do not buy this at this moment not until the optimized version comes the unoptimized version playing through rosetta is not that good especially in 4k it is not that good 1080p is doable 4k is not that good it is not going to be that smooth of an experience as compared to final cut pro it's so coming back to Final Cut Pro, whenever I'm playing this particular laptop with 10k 4-bit footages in Final Cut Pro, the workflow is so smooth. As you can see, I'm playing back this. There is no drop frames. I'm randomly scrubbing all over the timeline. There is no dropped frames. I'm just randomly placing the marker on any one of the places I'm playing it. There is no lag whatsoever. I'm adding some amount of color grade with this particular 10-bit footage and then again playing it back no jitter or lag whatsoever that is really cool another good thing is that this is in best quality mode not the best performance mode so you guys will be assured that you guys will get better performance if you guys go to the best performance mode but i would say that it doesn't matter the best quality mode just gives the best results also with no lags whatsoever also the background render is turned off so that i can test this thing out to the fullest and everything is played back totally unrendered nothing is rendered at this moment in this particular file after that what i did was i added some clips such as bad frame effects which i set it to one static once tv static increase and decrease the intensity of this particular filter but still no lag whatsoever again we are talking about a 4k 10 bit footage which 80% of you who are watching this may not have the camera also to shoot for so for regular 4k 60 fps footage it is a very good option for regular 1080p workflow it is by far one of the best bang for the buck options you can buy if you want to buy a macbook pro this is by far the best version of macbook 13 inch apple can make at this particular moment and if you are a premiere pro user it is a no-no but if you are a final cut pro user this is a bang for the buck the performance is intense the battery life is superb the design badly is still the same the bad thing about this is that there are two USB-C ports on this side so i had to use a dongle but i wish i just wish that there was one usb on either side or maybe one usb and two usb on both the sides like the 16 inch it would have been much better but one side is not that good 
So technically, let's go to Final Cut Pro again. And this is the timeline which I made. This is a one minute 4K 10 bit footage timeline with bad film effects, some random color grading out there. And I'm going to export this particular one minute timeline in 4K and it is taking around 35 seconds or rather the exact value is there on the screen right now also if you guys know i do have a imac which is the 2019 version i5 6 cores 24 gb ram and i exported the same 10 bit clip and it exported in one minute and 40 seconds so almost three times faster on the new m1 macbook pro second of all the imac was like rushing with fans it was literally like a jet stream on the way like taking off so the fan was totally over the charts on the iMac if you guys have seen my Instagram stories if you guys don't follow me do make sure to follow me there if you guys have seen that particular video then you guys will see that I was trying really hard to like literally hear the fan from this particular laptop but I couldn't hear anything second of all second of all the thing is the more intense review will be like to make a 10 minute or a 12 minute timeline on, on this particular macbook and on an imac 2 and see the results 10 minute timeline remember the thing is the fact that it is such a good laptop at such a good price but it has very small fans so there is a chance of thermal throttling no matter what happens so it may not turn on the fans instantly maybe in the first one go but after maybe four hours or five hours of intense use it may get slowed down so what i plan on doing is what i plan on doing and making a video with technolove is that we are going to make a 10 minute timeline we are going to make more of a 10 minute timeline consisting of 10 bit 4k footages black magic footages dji footages all in 24 and 60 fps combined together many layers stack one after the other and the results will be uploaded on a new video next week which i'm sure you guys will love it so stay tuned for that as well so technically those are the results of this particular laptop of course i forgot to say the results of the imac the imac performance was not that good in my opinion the export time was good one minute 40 second for a one minute 10 bit footage is a good enough time i guess but one thing which was bad about that was it was not editable this is the screen share of my performance on my imac and as you can see it was not playing back it was instantly dropping a lot of frames sometimes 10 frames sometimes 11 frames sometimes even 18 frames altogether that was like a one second loss in one particular video that is not a good sign of edit if you guys are editing in 4k timeline using those 4k 10 bit footages iMac is not going to handle those because it is comparatively an old computer with the old Kodak system and all it may not read those files that accurately maybe I don't like to know that much technicalities but for me a regular user who knows how to edit color grade and make footages out of the editing software the iMac was not performing that good as you all know I'm also a freelance video editor if someone sends me a Sony S7 S3 10 bit footage to edit i cannot edit those on my imac because the frames were dropping so massively but i can edit those on this particular laptop it is so fast i am also sharing some screenshots of this as you can see there are no dropped frames no matter how many edits how many efforts i put in in this particular clip the only way it can slow down is that if you put like a multicam footage 10 bit 4k 4 different cameras and then create a multicam timeline out of it then those are the moments this might get slowed down and those are the times you guys will have to wait for the 16 inch version so that is like the only difference but so far this particular laptop has been doing pretty well for me the thermal throttling you know it's not yet so evident for me i have edited over four hours five hours on this with those timelines, the timelines are already made. Technolove is doing his part on the new MacBook Air. He's testing those out on his MacBook Air and see how it performs. But on the new M1 MacBook Pro, so far the results are very good. The results are going to be out compared with the MacBook Air and the iMacs next week. So stay tuned for those two. So far, 
this particular laptop is going to be my main daily driver for Filmcap Pro and if you guys are into 4K editing this is a must buy but yes if you guys are thinking that you guys might save up some time and buy the next version and if you guys are totally okay with the previous versions as of now then I would say to wait for a bit and wait for the M1 H or the M2 laptops I heard that they are going to be launched pretty soon maybe after 4 or 5 months so if you guys can wait if you guys don't have an emergency to buy a laptop right now then don't buy it at the moment but if you guys want to this is a pretty good option and so far the results are mind blowing these are so good is this going to replace iMac the thing is in GPU rendered kind of a task iMac has an upper edge because because it has a proper GPU whereas this has an integrated GPU so if you look at the render test times also on the internet from different uh, you know test out there the iMac will win by a mile because this has an integrated GPU so far but other than those Final Cut Pro task 4k even 5k is totally doable on this particular laptop that is so good and that is so cool with that being said please wait for the next video more detailed tutorial on this particular timeline this particular 10 minute 4k timeline on Final Cut Pro coming soon Premiere Pro version is going to come in soon next week too so stay tuned for those with that being said, this is Pixel Sammy. We are very close to 100,000 subscribers. So if you guys like this kind of content, do make sure to subscribe and comment in this particular video because we want to make this particular video viral.